Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Goga of Dr. Govind Rai Gaya and uh, with me is Dr. Sparsh Gupta and uh, we have uh, our very very intelligent student uh, Dr. Shridhar. We are very happy to introduce him to you because he has got an excellent rank in INSCT exam. So I think uh, first Dr. Sparsh will take and then uh, Dr. Vivek uh, will take the stage and keep on telling you the things what to do for cracking the exam. Hi, good evening everyone. So as Gobind sir rightly pointed out, it's a privilege for me to have with you with us today introducing Dr. Sridhar. He literally cracked the exam with a wonderful rank of 28. And uh, before we start off with the formal discussion with him, I would just like Dr. Sridhar to uh, introduce himself as well as share about uh, a small tidbit of information about his college, his family before we start the formal discussion. Over to you Dr. Sridhar. Many, many congratulations on that wonderful rank 28. Uh, thank you so much, sir. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, I am uh, from batch of 2018 MBBS student. I studied my uh, MBBS from Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. Like uh, my father is actually a teacher. My mother works in a bank. I have an elder brother who actually is uh, in third year PG pediatrics. He's studying in Kings Hubli. Uh, like I, I used uh, to be a regular student, I guess like, that's the main reason. Like I started my preparation from second year onwards. I think that's the main reason why I was able to crack it uh, even through internships. So. That's great. That's great. Uh, Dr. Shridhar, before going into detailed about uh, study of the uh, MBBS and uh, how to crack the PG entrance exam, I will just want to ask one question, which I usually ask most of the students and uh, I feel uh, that art is uh, getting lost nowadays. Uh, how important is to study the textbooks? Yes, sir. I think it's very important because like I made sure I read all the textbooks. Even I use when I use review books, I made sure that I read textbooks at least once so that I get the gist of the textbook. So uh, because uh, I think the interest in the subject comes when and you mainly read textbook at least at least i feel you should read clinical textbook like i was interested in medicine i made sure i read read at least important parts in harrison or washington manual because that made the subject much more interesting absolutely right dr sridhar but uh, nowadays you know uh, as you would uh, connect with the students or you would look at the juniors uh, increasingly the trend that we observe in the medical schools these days is that people have uh, you know, totally made the notes as their basis for completion of any subject. So, and, and one of the reasons why they do that as they claim is that they have a paucity of time. So somebody who now has got a wonderful rank, somebody who stands as a proof of concept. Can you just, uh, even imagine the condition of a second year student now and guide him or her accordingly as to, uh, what should be the ideal approach? Because what they say is two things, as I said, one, there is a paucity of time. And second, that they find the textbooks to be, uh, you know, voluminous and more time consuming. So they are not able to comprehend the books when they're reading them for the first time. So how would you crack this problem for the students? Uh, so my approach mainly was like I used my notes or review books in conjunction with textbooks. Like when I read Robbins, my, my idea was not to remember each and every gene that is given in Robbins. I just wanted to make sure that I have the overall concept and idea what the book is trying to say the only genes or only the factual information which is given in the review books or notes only those things i tried to memorize the entire robins i didn't try to memorize the whole idea of me reading the textbook was to find the gist of the subject that's it so yes, the approach should be first textbook then review book or it should be review book first and then the textbook i think in second year robins i think uh, i read it cover to cover so because it's such an important book but when I went in senior years, like I went medicine, obviously I could not read entire Harrison, but that at that point of time, if, for example, if I'm studying a topic like pheochromocytoma, I made sure that I uh, read the notes for that pheochromocytoma and then go and read Harrison only pheochromocytoma so that I get the entire information about that uh, topic. So that. That's great. So uh, other thing, uh, important thing is like in your notes or uh, in any video lectures anywhere, uh, we cannot teach everything about that topic. And uh, when you study a textbook, uh, you get a lot of other things which we normally miss, like uh, sometimes history. 
sometime uh, how that discovery was made there are lot of lot more things which are so much interesting may not be important for the pg entrance point of view but uh, many times uh, you can remember those things and uh, you can correlate sometimes during the entrance exam to that and answer many questions correctly yes sir yes sir definitely yes, sir. and i think uh, it's a privilege for us to share with our viewers that uh, dr sridhar also gave us the privilege of uh, you know reading our second year review books along with the video lectures so in totality he had to look at the video lectures he had a look at the review books as well as he made sure that he was reading the standard textbooks right yes sir yes sir okay now uh what what should be the ideal time when you feel a student who has an intention of moving into an uh, institute of national importance should start his or her preparation i mean should it be the first year or you feel the second year is the ideal thing as what you did or you feel that you started a bit early and that should be you know started at the time of the pre final year uh so like i i was never into like uh, uh cracking an exam per se like i wanted to make sure that i knew each and every topic at least a little bit like first year like i was as i said it was like i was totally new to the medical world i was not sure like what's going on everywhere and the books were like suddenly voluminous so i made sure i passed my exams in first year but when i reached second year like i uh, i used to read standard textbook but i wanted to gain overall knowledge of the subject like for example i didn't even do mcq till i reached end of third year so i i don't think there is a ideal time for everyone to start i think it's better if it's very good if you start it in the beginning of the second year itself like at least reading your notes or reading your standard test books but i think if you have overall good knowledge of the subject i don't think there is no there is no specific time where, where you start your preparation So rightly said, uh, I also advise the students uh, don't study for the entrance exams. Just study to clear your concepts. If your concepts are good, then uh, every exam will become easy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I also personally feel that you know second year is kind of a transition time. So yes, when sir. a student enters a medical school, I would say you know they are they are typically boys and girls, but the boy to the men transformation takes place in the second year. So. <laughs> i think that way it is very very crucial for the students to realize that you know the second year is very very important and fundamental in getting a good rank in the subsequent exams no increasingly exactly. students dr sridhar also face a lot of pressure with respect to the completion of the clinical subjects say for example a lot of people you know are fascinated by reading the textbooks of medicine surgery obs and gynae and they somehow have kind of a doubtful feeling as to you know why the teachers why the seniors keep on talking about the importance of the second year subjects so if you were to be taken as a source of guidance for them how would you convince them how important is it for a student to have a good grasp of the second year subjects i think sir like uh, second year subjects are the most important of all, all like probably second year subjects followed by obg they are the most important for cracking any either neat or inct exam because i think once you read robins or once you read uh, have a good uh, grasp of pathology i don't think you will face any problem when it comes to medicine and once you integrate robins and pharmacology i think entire medicine part is over so probably surgery is little bit extra i think again that like there are so much repeated like when i entered third year like i started reading some final year topics i felt like most of the pathology and clinical features was already covered in robins and pharmacology only thing extra part was like probably the treatment so i think mm. the second year part is the very very important part like even my seniors used to say that only like if you have a good grasp of second year then you, you will do everything so that's why i made sure that in second year i don't go rush and read third year subjects or fourth year subjects in second year i had a covid lockdown but still i made sure that i only read second year subjects in second year so the, i think that is a very important take home message that i think all the viewers must be getting on especially the juniors that you start your preparation well within time as they say well begun is half done second is that you have to focus on the concerned subjects which are going to be covered in that very prof right without going into too much of you know the prof which you have already cleared or the prof that is going to be coming your way subsequently so focus on the three subjects let us say if you are talking about the second year and having good fundamentals in these subjects especially as we keep on and me and govind sir i think without our bias or prejudice we keep on talking about that fact that you know having a good knowledge of pathology and pharmacology is always always going to be of a lot of benefit to you 
Now, yes. during the exam, Dr. Sridhar, I mean, you got certain kind of questions. I mean, if you remember, you know, that you got that question for the neuroendocrine marker, the nuclear staining marker, INSM, right? Now, for such questions, I mean, I'm just getting your viewpoint. Uh, when you're appearing in exam, there are certain questions which you have not heard of. So, what, what is the best way? I mean, since you have cracked the exam, so I'm sure that a lot of people would be looking up to you with respect to if they anticipate or they get certain questions in the need PG exam. I mean, how should a student keep the mental calm and the peace when it comes to questions which are unfamiliar? Yes, like right now I have got, yeah, 28, sir. I, uh, my scorecard says I got only 160 questions correct and 40 questions wrong. And okay. I think even the AI yeah, one guy, who, I think he, I'm not sure, but he would have got 165 to 170 correct, correct and around 30 wrong. So those 10 or 15 questions are always going to be there. And those are definitely the not, not the rank deciders. Like, at least this INICT was better. Like once I looked at INICT May 2023 paper, there are a lot of questions from pharmacology and ophthalmology, which are like completely out of syllabus. I don't think we should worry much about those questions because those are definitely not going to decide your rank. Uh, so Dr. Shridhar, uh, now I will want you to guide our students, particularly who are preparing for the uh, entrance exam uh, next year. Maybe this need is quite near. So I don't think uh, that they should change anything, but they are doing, they should keep doing. Uh, but particularly a student who is uh, having exam six months later, maybe. Uh, so what will be your advice that uh, how should they plan the studies and uh, which are the most important thing to do and which are the important thing to avoid? Uh, the first most important thing is uh, to have your own notes ready, because I think that's the most important, like I had my notes ready by the like first month of internship that I think that's the most important thing because you will have some sort of, uh, sort of security that you have something to read. And the second thing for INSCT, I think the previous year topics are very, very important. Like last 15 days, I made sure that I read only and only previous year topics. I think that really helped a lot because again, in, uh, this INSCT also, I think around 50 to 60% of the questions were again from the previous year topics itself. And even neat also, I think there are, maybe they're not asking directly repeats, but again, previous year topics are very, frequently tested in NEET-PJ also. I think it applies for both the exams. And one more thing is like do a spaced repetition kind of thing. Like I used a app called AnkyDroid where uh, like for example, there is a staging, for example, there is a tumor markers or uh, there are some drugs like you want to remember enzyme inducers, enzyme inducers, peak lycoprotein inhibitors. You can just take a pick and add it in, in that app so that you can get a spaced repetition. That becomes very important. Uh, be uh, like so many volatile topics, I think I revised around 10 to 15 times, mainly because I used an app like that. You can also try use flashcards or uh, anything else, but try to do space repetition for at least volatile topics that will help. And one more thing is don't go for any phone. Like every institute, I think they have enough material for uh, their students. I, I think they would have analyzed the paper much more than you. So they know what's important and what's not important. They are going to give what is more palatable for the students. I think we should not go and like, check other institutes' notes. I, I think that that hampers really, really hampers us, uh, this thing. Uh, when I was reading, like I had my notes, then always there was a FOMO that okay, like two years later, uh, some updates might have come, something might have been added. Like I didn't worry much about that. If I had, if you start worrying about that one extra question, two extra questions, then definitely you won't complete your notes and then it will be a problem. Uh, I, I think that that's more than enough. So like if, if you do this much, especially for INICT previous year topics, if you're doing well, I think you, the everyone will get a very good rank. Uh, Dr. Shadar, one more question. Uh, and there will uh, must have been some uh, bad days while preparation. Uh, so how to handle those bad days? Because I feel many of the students, they start preparing and in between one or two or three bad days come and then they totally go off track. So how to keep yourself on track after some bad days when you're not able to study? Uh, so like I usually typically divided my day into three sessions, like morning session, afternoon session or evening session, whatever bad was happening was restricted to that session only. For example, if I'm not able in the morning, like just a bad session, like after food, I used to be fresh and again, that treat it like a new day and I started my preparation again. And it's normal. So like when, when I was actually approaching my exams, I really had few bad days because I was not able to read. I was anxious. I think it's normal. I think it happens to everyone. Just take it uh, like normally. I think it will be fine. Uh, 
so guys the take home message is uh, bad days are cut to everyone even the toppers so don't worry and don't carry those bad days along with you the next day the important thing is it is even better if you divide one day into different sessions so that it will not a complete day which is bad it is that session only which is bad that is an excellent advice by dr shridhar dr sparsh you want to add something but sir i just wish that uh, may god bless you with more success dr shridhar and please do convey our heartiest congratulations from team cerebellum to you and your family members and uh, god willing if you are coming to delhi or if we are coming to bangalore definitely we'll catch up in person as well thank you so much for taking out that time and dr shridhar thank you so much for taking first of all and uh, i have one more question so are you planning to take uh, something from this inct or uh, you will be appearing in neat also sir i will appear in neat sir but i i think i will take general medicine from some institute in inct great great uh, all the best and uh, congratulations thank you so much sir